Uh, my name is Fastface, I play for Face Clan and I'm the team captain. I'm a very selfless uh, player. I usually try to do as much as I can for the team and not really care too much if that's something that will look good personally for me. Uh, I always try to look, like, make sure that the team will play as good as possible. Uh, so before I was playing uh, games, then uh, I was in the army for four years, in the Swedish army. Uh, I, I quit that and then uh, that kind of transitioned into the pro gamer thing and it wasn't planned at all. <laughs> so the difference between military and this, uh, well it's a, it's a big difference. <laughs> uh, but I'd say uh, the main thing is that you're more in control yourself uh, on what you do. In the military it's very structured and you don't have much say in what you do. Um, so I think that's a big uh, thing and you also need to take the responsibility that comes with that. So you need to keep your hours and yeah, like stay on top of yourself rather than uh, have other people do it for you. And lifestyle, uh, then it's much less active now. So. Uh, for example, exercise and stuff becomes more important, even though it's not really a part of what you do for a job. Yeah. Uh, so you have, uh, maybe you need to feel better like psychologically and stuff, and then maybe you just need to work out more or feel better in you as a person rather than just in-game. So it's a lot of things that translates between the two worlds of in-game and out outside. Taking runs or going to the gym is really, really important. And I think a lot of gamers uh, disregard that aspect and they probably don't feel great personally in their body. Uh, and I think that's a big portion why some people might fall off or they might have uh, like str struggle being consistent uh, because they don't, they don't have the fatigue to like, stay on top of themselves. The most important thing, I think that's uh, probably just feeling good uh, sometimes when you sit down, um, you're not really, you don't really feel that great about yourself or your performance. And I think just as long as you break out of that pattern and you just feel good whenever you sit down and play. Uh, so it really was, I just started playing uh, PUBG a lot and then uh, I noticed that I was pretty good at it. Started playing with other people who were good at it and then it kind of just happened. Uh, I think the biggest pro is probably that most of the time you make your own hours. Uh, so, and also you don't have to live at a very specific location. Uh, I think that helps a lot. Um, I think that's probably the best thing about it for me personally. So it's easier to manage your own personal life. Well, the cons will probably be, it's not a super long lasting career, uh, usually. Uh, so at some point you kind of have to think what's after. Uh, I think that's probably the only con that I can think of like that. When you're an amateur, you still want to improve. Like that's what drives you to become a pro at some point. Uh, so I think it's your mindset that just you have to be consistent with it when you've done it for a really long time, whereas maybe in the beginning it's more passion. Uh, so it's just stay consistent with it and treat it as like an important thing, part of your life. All right, so this question is for David at Face, mm. And what is the most important thing in your life? Uh, my girlfriend. If you live this kind of life, isn't it hard to see your girlfriend all the time? Not really, especially not now with COVID, uh, when we have been at home like very, very much. And even before that, we always find ways to, to see each other. <laughs> <laughs>